Hey guys, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today for you, I'm going to be trying the nail art how-to that is featured in the Retro Wave Orally Color Pass. It comes on a little card in the Color Pass box with the Retro Wave collection, and it says it's three steps, but let's try it. So looking at the first step, you can tell that it has kind of a neutral background. So I don't want to just like have a base coat on. So what I've done here is I have put on one of those like perfecting colors. This is Rose Colored Glasses by Orly from their French Manicure line. Then, as you can see, the next step, which is actually what they label as the first step, even though it's the second, is two swipes of the blue from the collection that is called Far Out, which is also my favorite. Then it looks like step two just puts on a stroke of So Fly about in the middle of your nail and then like one off to the edge. And then... There's like another step because if you look at the upcoming step, you see some of the yellow in there, but it's not in any of the step-by-step -step pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the yellow in in the negative space areas, and that's called O snap. So I've done that to kind of match the final picture here on step three because you can see that there was some yellow added underneath the navy blue. But now it is time for the navy blue, and for this they definitely are using a very dry brush-like method. So that is what I'm doing. I have definitely try to get a lot of the polish off my brush and I'm just kind of swiping it in the main parts that they're showing it on this little pictorial <laughs> and that is it for this manicure besides of course putting on a top coat so I'm just doing this to get a lot of texture because I do want a lot because I feel like their picture has a lot and then after that I decided to go with a shiny top coat and that was it for this manicure which it was super easy you could totally do this in all of your nails and you could change up the color scheme if you wanted. Plus, it's one of those that you could do on both hands. And if it's messy, that's kind of the point. So that works really well if you're not great at painting art on both hands. So here is a side-by-side -side of a little pictorial that was on the card in the color pass. I feel like we recreated it pretty well. I feel like the picture leaves out a few steps like the base color and the yellow, which you can evidently see is in three, but not in two. So like I said, I feel like it's pretty close. You can definitely get it from the pictures, but it is more than a three-step manicure. But it did come together really quick considering this is about a three-minute video approximately. Of course, minus dry time, but like it's pretty quick, so... That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was kind of fun to do something a little different and try a tutorial that we could follow along with and do together. And now you guys have actually seen this done as well. So there is that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. The tutorial did also tag a nail artist. It was at nails underscore of underscore LA. So I will link her down below in the description box. But I think that is officially it. The Retro Wave collection is out now. I have a swatch video of it up on my YouTube channel as well. If you guys want to go watch that, you can. Overall, it's a really great collection. Definitely if you are in need of some fun summery neons. So that is now officially it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you back here soon with another new video. Bye!